definitely feels like a flathead. Blue, we're hooked up, guys. Oh, God. All right, we're headed up river. We put in back past that bridge you see there. We're making a five mile run up river. We've already had to drag them one time over a sandbar. This is gonna be an adventure, but we're gonna catch some big catfish. I'm not gonna disclose where we're at. A lot of people up here like to keep this place a little secret, so. Mike's up here dreaming about a bigger trolling motor in front of me. And that's Harmon behind me. We'll see you guys in a minute. Portage number two. And you can still see the bridge. Well, we've had motor issues with Mike. So we cut all the wiring out and he just wired it straight to the motor on the water. That's what we do, guys. We just pull up, fix it, and go on. Hold on, I gotta take a selfie. Portage number, <laughs> is that three or four? We came across this, so we had to portage above it. More work. I think this is portage six, five, I don't know. We're dragging kayaks again. And we're dragging our kayaks again, seven or eight times, I can't remember. We're hooked up with the first one, guys. It ain't no world shaker, but it's a fish. I don't know which side I wanna land him on. Definitely feels like a flathead. Oh. We'll go for this side, even though the transducer's over here. It is a flatty. Not a big one, but it's a flatty. Oh, and now I got my weight hung up in my net. I really did that again. on a three-way rig on my bumping rod oh he's a little bigger than I thought he was Got him on a piece of white bass that I caught at the dam yesterday. First fish of the trip. Forgot how to act in a tournament catching fish. My identifier bag got full of water.
during all that fiasco of I guess we're gonna get my phone out too. And that's why we leave them hooked while we're getting our measure. Yeah. And flatheads don't generally act up that way. He's gonna go 30 and a quarter. y'all we're in their last spot it's uh well my graph just died but it's 22 and a half foot deep where i'm sitting at and we are anchored in some current right in a log jam on a bridge we got mike over there Harmon. we're each putting out two rods a piece i got, got harman has got three i got a giant live gill my last one and piece of cut white bass and I'm gonna drop them down let the current pull it straight up under that blue we're hooked up guys oh god this is a mess no that's on the white bass oh this is gonna be a deal here He's mine, baby. Woo! Sometimes you just gotta do some sketchy stuff. <laughs> and I can touch the log jam with my rods in three mile an hour current. Yeah, it's fat. <laughs> if I'd caught that five minutes before, you wouldn't be leaving right now. <laughs> If I'd hit that fish five minutes before I did, you wouldn't be leaving. You know me better than that. There's a lot of food. You can tell it's been a slow day. I got more bait and Pepsi cans on my measuring board <laughs> than I do than I do anything. At what photo? Oh, it's not like I'm cashing anyway. I mean, what's it like? Dirty water. 
31 and a half. And your video? And my video. This is the end of my video. There it goes, guys. 31 and a half going back. Y'all stick around and watch me whoop kayak mock again in the next one. Hey, guys. We're back at the house. I didn't get to do an outro to this video. We, uh, had uh, Harmon's battery die and he almost washed up into the log jam, but that's one of the dangers of fishing this way. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. I'm going in here getting bed. It's been a long 28 hours of being on the river. We'll catch you guys in the next one.